Sega. It's been said that racing cars like this are like upside down airplanes, creating downforce to push the car down rather than lift it up. Indeed, a racing car can produce double its own weight in downforce, which means in theory, they can drive upside down in a tunnel. Scale that to a racetrack and it could be the difference between being at full throttle or lifting off the gas. In simple terms, aerodynamicists have two major concerns. One, to produce as much downforce as possible to allow the tires to stick to the road and give the drivers confidence. Two, to make the car as low drag as possible so they can go as fast as they can in a straight line. The most obvious aerodynamic devices are the front and rear wings, which are responsible for nearly 60% of a car's downforce, and the floor is responsible for much of the rest. Every single pit on a race car, from the suspension to even the driver's helmet, is profiled for maximum aero performance. The front wing is the first part of a race car that cuts through the air and therefore dictates how the air flows over the rest of the race car. It's a really powerful balancing tool and in Motorsport Manager, you can adjust the wing angle to try and energize the front tires by putting more load and that gives the drivers the confidence to attack the corners. The rear wing setup is really important to get the right amount of drag but also have downforce for the drivers to have confidence. The aerodynamic setup needs to be tweaked from race to race, but also you have to keep in mind the development time to get new parts out and make sure they're available in time for the race. 